What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another RTE Shirts video. And today, we're with the homies, J and E. What is it? Eclectics. Eclectics. We're not electrics, we're not electrical, it's J and E Eclectics. And the Eclectics just is about our eclectic background. Come from a variety of different things in our background. All right, all right, so that's where they get the name. <laughs> and of course, in this video, you're gonna hear the pros and cons of working from home. Cause you've got a home studio right here, right? That's right. <sighs> You know what? It's a little crowded, man. A so my, my question is, is it hard to maneuver in here? If we're doing one-off shirts, it's actually pretty easy. We've got a, a really good workflow worked out. Yeah. But when it's, okay, I need 25 shirts yeah. at a time. What do you do? Then it's like, oh, shit, did you already do this? Did you do that? Then it's a little crowded. But for the most part, storage is in the next room over. So we've got two rooms set up here. Mm. Um, but in here, this is where all the main work's happening. It's not too bad yet. Yeah. But, it, you know, With two of us, we coordinate, so it's good. Having a third person here, yeah, that's when it starts. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm over here recording. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the way yeah. over here. I got stuck <laughs> in my stomach and everything. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of working from home. You guys got any pros real quick? The biggest pro is time. So for me, I'm a, a single father. Mm -hmm. I've got a five-year-old, and knowing that where I'm making my money is right here. If she needs something, I or her, if her mom calls me, is like, hey, can you go pick up, you know, your daughter from school? Yeah. I gotta do something. Yeah, let me go. Let me print this last shirt. I'll drop it off at the post office mm -hmm. on my way. Yeah, bring the kid over. That's one thing I love about being an entrepreneur: the freedom yeah. to, hey, if I got uh, drop something, go deal with family issues. Yep. I could. Because with a job, you gotta ask for permission. Exactly. And sometimes they might not even give it to you yeah. or put you, oh, okay, you got two hours or this and that. Yeah. But if you have a family, entrepreneurship, even though, I'll be honest though, bro, sometimes it's a little bit stressful trying to balance. I have a four year old, you have a five year old. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like they want attention, yeah. they want to play. Yes. You know, you got some orders that are due in the next <laughs> hour. Yeah. But, hey, Pros and cons, man. Pros and cons. Yeah, you, what's one con? One con is definitely ties in with that pro, the, the time, right? So now you're not going to a job where someone already has something set up and structured, mm. right? So let's say, you know, like for example, we worked at a warehouse uh, job as an operations manager and I walk in, all right, if the building burned down, the job is still there, yeah. right? The business has enough, you know, resources to be able to build back up for, mm. for whatever reason. That's to me is like con, like you have to figure everything out. Like every, every, from, mm -hmm. from your process, right now I'm in DTF, right? That's what yeah. we're doing today, right? Uh, from the process to even the small things that people don't talk about, the taxes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the admin side of things, you know, that all has to be yourself. You're every, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. you're HR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're the manager here, you're, you're the support team. You're the you're janitor. You're the janitor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're the support staff, the customers. That, yeah. That's one thing that a lot of people, I don't know how they feel about it, but everything's on your shoulders. Yeah. And your success depends on how much you're willing to work yeah, and be honestly optimistic, bro. Yeah. Cause I'm sure you guys got, have gone through some stuff where you're like, oh, man. man, today sucks. Yeah. Yes. You, you've yes. had days that made you want to quit. Yeah, yeah. 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 but yeah. it's it's taking it out. It's, it's <laughs> hustle, hustle, that's, hustle. And, and that's, I mean, it, to me, it's a good con to have. Yeah. Like I have control, you know, yeah. control about my time, control what I do. Uh, it is up to us if we're gonna make it or not. But that actually leads us to a, another con. Mm -hmm. All of this equipment is expensive, but it also consumes a ton of power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that electric bill is no joke. For example, the heat press you have, yeah. you have it connected to another whole room. Yep. yep. Just because of was it the circuits or the circuit, circuit breaker? Yeah. So no. the, the circuit, the actual circuit for this mm. room, is only a certain amount of power. Yeah, and yeah. It, and our heat press is dual, so it's heated from the top and the bottom. So yeah. it's actually two heat presses in one. Mm -hmm. So the top is plugged right in here, and the bottom is on an extension cord run to another room. Mm -hmm. So it's on another breaker. Because if we turn on the heat press, the printer, the pre-treat, and the Recoma mm -hmm. all from this room, it'll pop, shut the power off. I got you, so, man. I got you. Before we continue this video, just want to let you know, I got a website selling SVGs, and because I like you guys, I'm giving away free SVGs on my website. Go check it out in the description below. That was just a quick plug. Let's continue with the video. So that, that kind of goes back to the story of our shop and how it started, right? So our tagline is establishing quarantine. And what happened as soon as COVID hit, we both were working, you know, corporate America jobs, yeah. working in warehouses. And when COVID hit, 
everything gets shut down. I've got a five-year-old, her school shut down, and her mother and I are separated, but her mom's a nurse. Mm -hmm. So you got a new pandemic, nobody knows what's going on. Nurses are working six, seven days a week. And I thought, someone has to be able to stay home with my daughter because there's nowhere for her to go. We don't have family around here, you know? Not anyone that was available at the time. So I'm stuck at home and I'm talking to my buddy. I'm like, you know what, man? Like, what if, what if the world doesn't open back up and we can't get back in the office? We don't know how long this work from home is going to be. It went from two weeks to it's four weeks later. I'm still at mm. home. What's going on? I remember. Yep, so. they, were, they were saying that, what, East, they were supposed oh, to go yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Let the, let the curve, you know, yeah. let, let, thing, let the curves, like, lower down and all that stuff. But it's the middle of quarantine, March, like, 18th. I'm stuck at home. I started reaching out. We're doing research. And custom stuff is something we would have ordered from other people before we already liked it. We were already interested. And I was like, man, we could do that. Let's do it. So I was all in. I found the machine, talked to the dealer, uh, the salesman talked to Omniprint. We drove down and picked it up. I paid cash, turned around like two days later and bought the two head Recoma machine right next to you. Mm -hmm. Another $22,000 heat press. All, I mean, basically all in, we're like 65 grand in. So let me ask you, have things opened up? Has your job came back or no? A year later. Yeah. So a year later, my job actually opened back up about three months later. But once we realized the freedom of like working with your customers, putting out customers, being your own boss, it was difficult to be there anyway. Mm -hmm. So I decided to leave that six figure job and do this full time. So literally got back to work. Maybe I was there four weeks. I was like, nah, I'm gonna go back to my shop. This is what I'm gonna do. So I quit and actually he just did the same thing. So yeah. he worked through like the next seven, eight months, nine months. And then now this is it. This is full -time. Yeah, you guys, so you guys are all in over here. All in, man. Dang, hey man, that's inspiring right there. Once you get a taste of freedom, it's, it's hard it. to go back, bro. Yeah, that, that was the thing, man. We got the bug. Yeah, look. Yeah. That's why we're chocolates all day, bro. Yeah, chocolates all day. <laughs> oh, chocolate game. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So, working from home, how are you getting business? Yeah, so we just started last month or about maybe five weeks ago, we started running Facebook ads. Mm. So we do put out a lot of content on our Instagram, which gets a lot of attention. And then customers will start messaging us. But the ads are where we're getting a lot of traffic right now. So we'll send the ad traffic straight to the website. They can contact us from there. It's got our email, but it's also got a built-in live chat that will ping our phones. Mm. Um, that's where we're getting some of it right now. And then it's word of mouth. So we start locally and someone comes and picks up a shirt and they tell their friend. And their friend comes. I actually got a, a funny story on that. So uh, right after we we uh, ended up getting with the the, the car that the shop dude, right? We're like, hey, we're hungry. Go pick up some pizza. We drive by, and uh, he's like, hey, you know what? Let me talk to the manager. I was like, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He's like, hey, can we speak to the manager? Yeah. She comes up, and you know, do a little pitch. You know, we do custom apparel, blah blah. blah. Super excited. Oh, man. oh my god, where were you guys at about a week ago? <laughs> no. Like we needed shirts, we yeah. just ordered. Corporate said no more because it was supposed too to be expensive. A, too expensive, a shirt or a limit order, right? Or like we don't have a limit order. Yeah. And uh, she's like, well actually I'm looking for a shirt. I'm looking for a shirt, it's my, my boss's birthday. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in a couple of days. Like how soon can you have me? Well you order today, we'll have it today. Oh <laughs> dang! So sure enough, the very next day she orders and well, you know, had, got that shirt, get that shirt and uh, she ends up picking it up. And, you know, she loved it. She loved it, right? But yeah, going out, we're going out, and uh, just don't be afraid. You know, whether it is you're picking up, you're picking up food, or you're gonna pitch it to some uh, business. Mm. You know, just that's what's funny. Brand yourself and throw your name in. So the very next day, we start doing things in, in kind of that order. We get home, and I was like, something I said three months ago. Let's start making logos for local companies. Mm. Wear the shirt or hat in there, and then talk to them. Like, hey, this is what we could do for you. Blah blah blah. And we're like, let's do it then. Go to the card shop. And he's like, yes, love it. We're mm. in business. We hit up pizza to celebrate, like, hey, we're one for one, yeah. for, you know? And then at the pizza shop, I'm like, we talked to the man. So we do that, two for two, we're like, okay, it's not always gonna be a win, they're not always gonna say yes. But just knowing taking action on that actually worked, it's like, dang, man, we gotta do more of that. Like, you gotta, you've gotta be what you want, you know? Mm. You, you get out what you put in, so. I get you guys, man, I get you guys. And there you guys go, I think that's a great place to end the video. Um, Where can people follow you? Follow us on Instagram at JE underscore Eclectics. Uh, same thing on YouTube, JE Eclectics, or our website, www.jeeclectics.com. There you go. So if you want more teacher knowledge or you want to, you know, buy a custom shirt, everything in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.